right, we are going to hold at T minus 40. We're watching the temperatures on the ship right now for the ship fuel. Sounds like they're working through that. We might be able to release that hold shortly. All right, sounds like we're gonna be able to reset those holds, not tracking any other holds. And clock is rolling. And the clock is rolling once again. And I'll T minus 30 seconds till the liftoff of I'm the Dr. eighth Wong, flight of Starship. Our flight director, Joe Schleicher, today is go for launch. Let's listen in as he take us, takes us through the final seconds of the count. Minus eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We got the phone. Vehicle pitching that range. Forty seconds, a little over forty seconds into the flight, we are seeing thirty-three out of thirty-three Raptor engines ignited. Boosters pushing us downrange over the Gulf. Next milestone coming up in just under ten seconds is going to be Max Q, that max aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. All right, so we're through max Q. That's the, the heaviest stresses it's kind of seeing on the way up. Wow, that was pretty incredible. <laughs> I'm still recovering. <laughs> that was amazing. Clamps holding the two stages together are going to release. And Starship second stage engines will be cut off. Ship engine start up. Stage separation. Boost back for start up. There we go. Ship engines, all six Raptors ignited. We're doing that boost back burn. Looks like we got 11 of the 13 that we command for Cold that. So return. that's going to start sending the booster back. We are still go for booster return, even with two Raptors out during that boost back. We can do a full duration one. But uh, it looks like we got a ship, six engines heading into space. And then we got a booster hopefully on our way back to Starbase. How's everything going in Hawthorne, Chris? Everything is looking good. The crowd eagerly followed that ascent and now watching the booster coming back. So as you can see on the left-hand side of your screen here, that is ship, ship continuing. And that's a great view of ship continuing on its way to space. They're looking, that's inside the camera, inside the aft skirt, looking at the Raptor vacuum and the sea level engines, the sea level ones there in the center of your screen under our T plus clock. You can see our boost back burn. We're down to three engines on the boost back burn. Uh, and you can see ship on the right-hand side of that telemetry with six engines lit, continuing its ascent to orbit already over 100 kilometers in altitude. The booster 87 kilometers in altitude and continuing its trek right now back to the landing site and catch site. There's a shutdown. And we just heard a good call out for boost back shutdown. The next thing we should see on our screen is the separation of the hot stage from the super heavy booster. We jettisoned that because we do not need it for the landing, uh, but on future iterations of the super heavy, that uh, hot stage ring will be incorporated into the booster and we will get it back. But for today, you can see it on the right-hand side of your screen there, just separating off of from the right-hand side of the booster. You can also see the booster doing its liquid oxygen dump there, which is exactly what we would expect for it to do as the booster gets itself configured for the landing here.
Once again, we're going to ignite first the center 13 engines. You can see that coming up here momentarily. Engines and start up. This is going to come down to three engines as the booster slows down for its landing. And we just heard the sonic boom. What an incredible sight to see the super heavy booster gliding down booster into the chopstick arms once again. Thank you very much, the booster. Stuck the landing. Wow. <laughs> that will never get old. for about another minute um, until we'll get to uh, the Starship engine cutoff. Really cool view. Again, a million shout outs to all of our avionics team who make these cameras possible for us. That's looking uh, right down inside, essentially the skirt area of ship where you can see a pretty good view of all six Raptors, especially those three inner ones, one of which we're gonna hopefully relight a little bit later. And we just saw some engines go out. It looks like we are losing attitude control of the ship. So we'll continue to stick with it. For those of you that have, for those of you that just uh, recently joined us, we had uh, a successful liftoff of the eighth test flight of Starship, followed by a successful, a successful stage separation. We saw the booster, actually, you can see it just behind us here. Uh, the booster had a successful catch back at the tower. Um, unfortunately, it seems as though we lost the, uh, uh, the attitude control of the ship. We are standing by as we listen in with the teams on the nets to understand uh, what information we're able to provide you. We will provide that as soon as we are able, um, but it's pretty incredible to take a moment and see <laughs> the booster just behind us. Certainly yeah. a different view than last time. Starship blew up. There it is. 